Today's video is going to be all about planners because if you didn't know this about myself, I'm planner obsessed and so I really wanted to do a video talking to you guys about my favorite planners, my favorite planner stickers, kind of DIYs, hacks, tips, tricks, all that kind of stuff because going back to school I feel like it's a new time to refresh and kind of organize your life so here we go. That's what today's video is going to be. And if you're new here, definitely hit that subscribe button because this month I am going to be giving away a Naked Smoky palette to one of my lovely subscribers. I'm going to be hosting this giveaway for the entire month, but the only rule is you need to be subscribed. So if you want to win this, definitely subscribe and yeah, follow me on Twitter and Instagram for extra entries. My username is just Miss Michaela G. And yeah, I'm excited to give this away because I love the Naked Smoky palette and this would be an awesome thing to win for back to school, especially going into the fall time. And that's not the only giveaway that's going to be in this video, so if you watch the entire thing, you will find out what the other one is. Woohoo, yay! It's exciting, so you're not gonna wanna miss it. So I wanted to start off by talking about a few of my favorite planners that I've had in the past and kind of what I'm using currently. And if you guys also use a planner, let me know what brand it is in the comments down below because I'm very curious or what planner you wanna try out if you wanna try out a planner. But I figured I'd go ahead and mention the ones that I really like. The first one being Lily Pulitzer. I used a Lily Pulitzer planner probably in my second year of college. I really liked it if you're girly and want something fun and colorful. It's really awesome. I really enjoyed having that one. And once I was done with my Lily Pulitzer planner, I moved on to Passion Planner. This is what I used all of last year and I really, really like it. If you guys need a big space to write or you just like big planners, I think this is a really awesome one. And it's really, really blank and creative space, if that makes sense. Like you can pretty much customize anything and there's so much room to write in this one, that's why I really like this one. And one of the coolest things is on the website, you can have it start on a Sunday the week, or you can have it start on a Monday, which I personally like having it start on a Monday. And also you can have the option to have the dates filled in or not. So if for some reason you don't feel like planning for a week, you can go ahead and just skip that and you're not wasting a page in your planner, which I think is really awesome. And they do have different styles. They have like this big one and a smaller one, and then they also have a blue one. So I will have their website linked down below, not sponsored sponsored by them, by the way, I just really like them. And yeah, so this is kind of what my planner looks like. And I really just like how much room there is. There's to-do list sections, there's note sections, and in the back they have grid paper, line paper. And it took me a long time to discover, but they actually have a pocket. So you can put like your stickers and stuff. Really awesome, like I said, perfect if you're a student. And I just, I love to passion plan, really. And alongside my passion planner this year, which I will be continuing to use because I did get a new one, I'm also going to be trying out the Happy Planner. I got this one at Michael's and I know that they have a website too, so you can check them out there. I really wanted to just try out this one. It's a little bit smaller, not as much room to write and stuff, but it's really fun and colorful and like I have stickers that go with this one, so I wanted to get this one as well. And I'll probably end up using both this year because I'm that crazy. Moving on to a few of my money saving tips if you guys are into planning and or if you're starting out with planning. The first one is to raid your dollar store because your dollar store probably has a pretty decent craft section with a lot of fun stickers and stuff. So if you're just getting started and you wanna see if it's like for you, don't go and spend a bunch of money on stickers. Just go to your dollar store and check out what they have. They usually have some fun washi tape and stuff too, which I really like using for decorating. So that's a really good one. Another option which I've seen a lot of people do is to print their own stickers. You can either create your own or on Pinterest, they usually have a bunch of different free ones and all you need is a printer and some sticker paper and then you can just print out your own sheets of stickers. I've done this a few times, however, I never have ink in my printer so I don't really do this a whole bunch, but it's a really fun option, especially if you wanna really customize your stuff so you can have it all matching and stuff. I think it's really cool and definitely a good option. If you don't feel like printing your own stickers at home, you can definitely check out Etsy. I know that there's a ton of shops on there that are specific for planners, and you can get a lot of cute bundles on there. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I definitely have to say that Michael's is my favorite place to buy stickers. I kind of, like, this is just a handful of them. I'm kind of obsessed with them. I really, really like the Happy Planner stickers, or the Create 365. I think they have really awesome sets. They come with a bunch, and they just have, like, different styles and stuff. They actually have these new ones that have, like, um, seasons and stuff, as well as, this one's just, like, 
a regular one. But yeah, they have a Seasons one, which I think is really cool. But if you are going to be going to Michael's and you want to save a bit of money, definitely check out their coupon section because I don't ever not use a coupon there. They always have coupons and usually you can get some money off of these because it can be pricey. I think they're worth it just because you get so many in a pack, but only when you use a coupon. Now I wanted to go ahead and share with you a little bit of my planning routine, if that's a thing, or just kind of my tips and tricks on how I personally like to use my own planner. So the first one is at the end of each night, I like to sit down at my computer desk or my desk, you know, there's a computer on it, so it's a computer desk. But I like to sit down and just plan out the next day. I write a to-do list. I, you know, write who I need to email and just like star those different things. I really like this. I think it's very therapeutic and it helps me stay on top of everything. So I definitely like to do that at the end of each night. That's kind of how I like to relax and honestly it just makes me really pumped for the next day and then I get sleepy and go to bed. <laughs> For me personally, I feel 10 times more motivated and organized when I actually stick with using my planner every single day. If I kind of miss a few days or miss a few weeks, I feel like I just am not complete, if that makes sense. I just think it's only going to be effective if you actually put it to good use. And the ways that I like to, you know, keep myself motivated to using it is the fact that I use stickers and just make it really fun and colorful. That's just what I like. But yeah, if you guys struggle with staying organized, definitely check out planners because it's basically like a scrapbook. And I used a scrapbook as a kid and this is basically the same thing. It's just a big sticker book with a to-do list, essentially. If you've made it this far in the video, I'm really impressed and that's lucky because we're going to talk about the giveaway next. I'm really excited because Passion Planner is giving me two planners to give away to you guys and it's international so anywhere anyone can win it, which is awesome. I'm going to be giving away a small black one as well as a big black one and all you have to do to enter is just follow the link in the description box below. It'll take you to another page where you can subscribe, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and you know, all those fun things. So go ahead and click that link if you're interested in winning. I'll probably have the giveaway open for like two weeks or so and then I will contact the winner and then you will get your passion planners and it'll be awesome because you'll be so organized for school this year you're gonna love it it's gonna be great so yeah definitely check out the giveaway if you're interested give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and if you like planner videos and if you own a planner and you love it and yeah subscribe to my channel before you leave if you're new and I will see you lovely people in my next video have a great day bye